All right, Meta 10. Round two. Seems like he could skip Meta 10's monologue. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, we're going to skip that. Because we've lost, yeah. so the game is nice. Really? Where? Mm, very clever. clever. Very clever. All right, here we go. Tim Curry. <laughs> Bam. All right, here we go. Here we go. Action. Uh, Sneak through? Uh, there we go. All right. All right, I'm going to hang this. Slap, slap, clap. Bam. Blood drama romance. I honestly would kill the uh, robots because uh, they throw hearts. That's true. Slap, slap, blap. Bam. Idle everyone craves, baby. Excuse me. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Yes. You do? Well, you better let the poor guy out. Go ha! Go That was also Tim Curry. <laughs> Every time you miss, it gets faster. I want you to realize oh, that. I, well, I didn't. So, don't, yeah, don't just spam shots. You have to be precise. Okay. I learned. Pop quiz. Quick type legs. Um. Legs. S. That's right, legs! <laughs> Yay! Makes me so happy. Because <laughs> it's the only time in the game where you do this! <laughs> okay, alright. Oh, you didn't even break his arm, that's a shame. Who needs arms with legs like these? Right. Eh. Look out, eh. kisses. Little meditan brain kisses. How are you on the dance floor? Ah, I know this one. Yes, you do. Boom. 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 Hey. Yeah, your mother. Blap. Oh, oh, very fast, very fast. Oh, oh, shit. Ah. It's very fast. You also were right up to the disco ball. I so know. Less time to react. I don't know why you chose that light. Because, because they're blue. Yay. Yeah. Let's go, you black, piece black of bloop. garbage. Junk. That's what you are, junk. Yesterday's insults Boss. prime. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like Mediton. It's a good smell. I mean, it smells like a robot. No, I feel like he smells like lavender. You think so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> He's a dance and he loves it. We've grown so distant. Time for another heart to heart. Glamburger. Yeah. Boom. 300 brain recognition, baby. <laughs> All right. Arms. Who needs arms with legs like these? Okay. There we go. Smart boy. Yeah. Nope. I'm going to punch him. Yeah, right in the cooter. Come on. Alright. It's a cinnamon bun. It's a cinnamon bunny. The show must go on. Remember, you can just thread the needle. You can just go straight. There we go. Alright. Bam, 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 boom, blip. Ooh, we got a crate to here. Nice. I'm not. You're uh, very trigger happy, and you're not looking ahead, but it's okay. You'll get through this. We have food. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Humans are going to die because you're selfish and you don't want them to experience Madatown's greatness. I don't know if that's accurate. Toxic love. Kits. <laughs> Slime beneath me. Slime up above. Oh, there's something with that toxic love. And then Fern Gully was the best movie ever made. It's not true. It happened. As voted by the people who made it. As voted... I don't know. <laughs> as, <laughs> voted, <laughs> as voted by people who didn't have enough twinker, uh, Tinkerbell porn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they needed more. I didn't solve the brand. You recover 14 hit points. Yay. Are you the star? Probably. Damn it. He's zapping your bus. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Your boo, see? Okay. Uh, Uni. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I was gonna say I'm all gonna start calling shots then if that's what's gonna turn into. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, robots. Kill the robots. I'm all trying. Right, dodge that shit. I got you, baby. Okay. 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 Mm. Recording. Just straight line it. Well, I can't do that with the bombs. I know. Well, I know. Nah. Oh, look at the ratings. Oh, good. You don't have to kill him. We've reached the viewer's calling milestone, baby. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Mm. Hi, you're on TV. I wonder who this is. <laughs> it's not that. Oh. Oh. Hi, Meditane. I really like your show, dog. My life is pretty boring. I'm a ghost. <laughs> Seeing on the screen brought excitement to my life vicariously. I love lasagna, and I hate Mondays. <laughs> I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait! Uh, bleh! They, they already hung up. Oh, my. There's Napsterbook. Yeah. Uh, if we buy the key, we can go into Metaton's house and find out that Metaton is Napsterbook's cousin. Oh. And Metaton's not a true machine, he's a ghost in a machine. Oh. <laughs> Metaton, don't go. I'll watch without you. Oh, Metaton, there is a Metaton ship holding my Metaton ship on. <laughs> oh, I. I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling. Perhaps. It might be better if I stay here a while. Humans already have stars and idols and monsters. They only have me. That's right. If I you stay here, I'll let you live as I cough up a lung. <laughs> yeah. As I left the underground, I'd leave an aching void that could never be filled. Oh my. So I think I'll have to delay my big debut. That's right, you run away. <laughs> Yeah, you better run. That's like your eyeballs <laughs> hanging out and on your cheek. You know, like a popsicle stick in your mouth, and you're like, yeah, fucker. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. I'll try. The little child just goes up the Trump Tower. I'll <laughs> stop you. And the truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and, well, I'll be all right. Mm. Knock them dead, darling. Mm. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Hmm. Metatatin. 
No. Well. Okay. Oh, I, I managed to open the lock. Are you two, uh... Oh, thank God they're not fucking... Oh, my God. Uh, Metaton? Metaton, are you, uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, uh, Thank God, it's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I... would have to... I would have to build another sex bot. I mean, uh, hey, it's, uh, no problem, you know, um... He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always uh, yeah, just build another one. Yep, I didn't put a robe. I didn't put a ghost in a machine. <laughs> Why nope. don't you go on ahead? Um, I'm just going to stay here. And... I'll do a bunch of fucking sick experiments in my lab like a monster. No, I definitely didn't do that. You fucking beast. Yeah, right. Let's continue. I am following you. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, definitely my bad. Uh, we can still be Facebook friends, right? Thundernet. Thundernet friends. Now Mark Zuckerberg comes in and he goes, no. <laughs> so you're about to meet Asger, huh? Yeah. Hey, you must be uh, pretty excited about all that day. And Asger got a huge dick. <laughs> You'll finally... You'll finally get to go home. Yep. Uh, not going to watch that anime with you either. <laughs> Can I have like a safe spot or something? Oh, yeah. No, don't worry. We're not going uh, straight to wait. Asgore. Don't worry. Wait. I mean, um, I was just going to, um, you know, say goodbye and uh, maybe blow you or something. Uh, I mean, do you have a penis? I'm just going to come out and say it. What's your gender? <laughs> Attack helicopter. We've been over this. I can't take this anymore. I'm going to go right in my diary. Believe, I don't believe in attack helicopter. <laughs> I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. Well, what the fuck do I need then? It takes at least a human soul. And a monster soul. <laughs> Lightning. <laughs> if you want to go home... You'll have to take his soul. You gotta do a sick kill. You'll be fine with that, you fucking ass. You'll have to kill Asgore. Well, he sounds like a prick, so... I'm sorry. Hmm. hmm. Elevator! Okay. So, uh... Pretty big elevator there. It's, uh... <laughs> What a thrill. <laughs> you never played Metal Gear Solid, no, so that's not going to be funny. No. Hey, okay, it's oh, over. Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh, not yet. Right now it's quiet. Okay. That's just, uh, this is music. The game is music, man. That's out there if you want to go back and, like, buy stuff. I do. Uh. How much money do we have? Uh, GP, we have gold. one dollar. We have one gold. So, no sense going back. Go forward. Progress. Uh, okay. It's a fancy looking place. The ice cream truck's outside. I don't know if you're making a joke about like... No, the there's actually... I can hear the music. Oh, okay. I hear the ice cream truck too now. Yeah, you get the Spongebob ice cream, you know, when it's shaped like Spongebob and his eyes are gumballs. I mean, I've seen it. I usually get the Spider-Man version, though. Oh, dude, yeah, those are both so good, yeah. though. All right. I swear to God, if it's Christopher Walken Flower up here... Uh, shh. <laughs> your, your peaceful moment is ruined. <laughs> God damn it. You know what? Fuck you, ice cream truck. I'll save it for the pacifist run. It's a golden flower. Hmm. Well, this looks familiar. Oh, actually, I really want to know what happens when you go... It's a golden flower. Yes, no, it's a golden flower. We'll say that for literally all of them. Okay. <gasps> Presents. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. Uh, yes. sure. Got the heart-shaped locket. 
There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. I like stuff. Is this... Their armor and a weapon. Cool, the dagger. I assume they're better than what I have. Yes, they're the best stuff. Okay. Heart locket. Use. Okay. Let's go in here. Room under renovations. Neat. Oh. They gave you lore. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Pick up the key. Took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Keep going straight, though. Look in the mirror. Despite everything, it's still you. Yeah. You do not deserve that. And I'm fucking mad. <laughs> I got a... It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle. Champs, 98. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's huh. funny. It's a clothes dryer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says, Mr. Dad Guy. <laughs> I love it. It's a king-size bed. Cool. Check the desk, you fucker. Oh. It's Asgore's journal. <gasps> All the current pages say is, a uh, nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Oh. It's just a chair. Hmm. You can investigate the rooms or you can just fucking leave on it. Okay. okay. Uh. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Interesting. Hmm. Is the snail book here? Is there photo albums? No, it's a different house, but I'm glad that you realized it looks exactly the yeah. same. Seems like gardening tools. I I mean It's a great reading chair. Let's just stay here. I like chairs. Jelly! Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Hmm. Nice little bucket. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. I'm fascinated. Oh, that's sad with the as tea. fuck. Stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. I wonder if there's anything in the fridge. Unopened containers of snails. Huh. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. This... Hmm. More and more, this seems like Toriel's place. Uh, you unlock the chain? Cool. Yep. Cool. Downstairs. <gasps> it's more. Then one day, the human became very ill. Oh no. That poor human. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from the village. But there was nothing we could do. He also wanted to meet Mean Joe Green. But he was already dead. The next day... The next day... The human died. <gasps> he didn't get to meet Mean Joe. He did not. Damn. Little did they know. Mean Joe was dead, too. <laughs> Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being of incredible power. Mr. T. You can't... See, the Mean Joe Green thing, I'll give you that. You can't just <laughs> fucking say Mr. T. That's not a joke. No, he became Mr. T when he absorbed the human soul. Why? Because he's all-powerful. <sighs> The human soul as you'll cross through the barrier. You carried the humans by in the sunset and back in the village of the humans. Don't act like Mr. T doesn't exist in this world. I'm not saying... We met him. Did we? Yes. When? When I... He didn't... He brought me a crack baby. Oh, it's a crack baby. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. He does exist. Yeah. And he does have the power of the T-Force. Exactly. Asriel reached the center of the village. 
There, he found a bed of golden flowers. <gasps> he carried the human onto it. Fascinating. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Hmm. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But, Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Hmm. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. Let us go. Save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? I mean... Kind of had the same face the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> Frog it. You're going to be free. I guess that takes me back to... Yeah, so you don't have to walk literally ten years. Save the game. Hmm. Hmm. Very cinematic. Yes. Hey, so you finally made it, eh? The end of your journey is at end. So, uh, in a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. Hmm. You will be judged for your every action. Interesting. You will be judged for every EXP you earned. What does that mean? What's the XP? There's an acronym. Uh -huh. Fucking MOOC. For execution points. Oh. A way of qualifying the pain you've inflicted on others. Quantifying. Whatever. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. That's weird. Love, too, is an acronym. Oh. It stands for level of violence. Fascinating. Way of measuring someone's capability to hurt. Capacity, shut the fuck up, I can't read. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. Hmm. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. Hmm. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now, you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. I will. Well, so... Have you really done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Hmm. Take a moment to think about this. You actually have to think, Steve. Oh. In case you didn't know the sands. Right. <laughs> Truthfully... It doesn't really matter what you said. 
All that's important is that you're honest with yourself. Yeah. What happens now, we leave up to you. Okay. Oh. One thing about you always struck me as kind of odd. Mm-hmm. Now, I understand. Acting in self-defense. Yes. You were thrown into these situations against your will. It's accurate. But, sometimes, you act like you know what's going to happen. Like you've already experienced it all before. This is an odd thing to say, but... You have some sort of special power. Isn't it your responsibility to do the right thing? Oh, Spider-Man. Uh, great power comes great responsibility, yes. Oh. I see. Then why'd you kill my brother? Hmm. What was that whole self-defense thing we just talked about? Except here's the thing. This is... No, stop right here. I'm going to explain this to you. Okay. So you understand why I'm so mad at you with okay. the papyrus thing? In this world, and also in video game, we have this right now. Our character has the power to literally turn this off and try something again from the last save point. Uh-huh. So if you have the power to find a peaceful way out of a situation and you do a sick kill, and you keep going, yet you easily could have just gone back and found another solution, that's on you, dog. Like, it's not self-defense anymore, because there's no consequence, really, for you dying. So you just killed his brother because you were lazy, or you didn't want to do, or you wanted to get a rise out of Mark. That's why he's upset. Because you have the power... To say, you know what? I didn't like that I killed Papyrus, and it was super sad. I'm going to go back and try to not kill anyone. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, that's true. Um, but, I mean, I don't... I guess I disagree with it? Like, I don't... I don't want to be the guy who... Like, if I do a thing, I want there to be consequences for my actions oh i know i know and that's why i'm fine with what you did like yeah. i didn't want because if i truly believe by what sans is saying because again at the end of the day it's a game this isn't real life but yeah. they treat it like it is because good storytelling the thing is like if i was really mad at you i'd be like steve restart we'll save papyrus and stuff or we won't kill toriel and this mm -hmm. is how you do it again from the first episode it said i want you to make mistakes and i'm not going to tell you how to do stuff uh -huh. except by like metaton i just didn't care anymore so here's the thing in the game's logic, what I said is sound. In real life, what you're saying is sound. Doogie mm -hmm. Shed made a good video about it, and a lot of people have how, like, everyone's like, oh my god, I can't believe you killed Toriel. It's like, no, that everyone, the first time they play this game, should kill Toriel, because that's them learning the game, and that there's consequences, and that people react to stuff, and that it's an evolving and growing experience. Mm -hmm. So, I get what you're saying where you like that there's consequences, but in a world where you're all-powerful and you can choose the best outcome, it's cruel to not choose the best outcome. Do you get what I'm saying? No, I get it. Okay. That's, so, again, I, you, you didn't do anything wrong. Right. It's just, from that point of view, where you're God, it's a dick move to not make things great. <laughs> I mean, I guess... No, it's not you guess. That's, like, I'm not telling you how to think. No, but... But, like, mm, if you were God, wouldn't you want people to be happy? Right, but... If it was completely in your power. And I'm not saying, like, oh, you make everyone a millionaire and there's no worries. But, like, if you have the chance to kill someone or to not kill someone, and you could try as many times as you want, why wouldn't you save someone? No, I, I, I understand yeah. what you're saying. I don't... I don't like it though. Not only does it it's it 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 takes me out of the story. It takes you out of it. Yes, that makes it way too meta because how does Sans know that? Well to really understand that you have to do the worst ending. And if you'd like, I could sit you down and give you a two hour lecture about the lore of this game and how several people have the power you have to load the game and save. Uh-huh. I'm not going to do that because I want your mind to get fucking blown by some of this shit. All right. Well, so, go go have fun, kid. Okay. 
and that's the point is um sans sans is kind of like exists outside of this game and that's why um like say you killed toriel right uh-huh and we reset the game and then you saved toriel Mm -hmm. Flowey would call you out on that shit super hard, and he'd be like, you think that you're clever and this makes you a better person that you saved her this time? You killed her. You did that. Even though she's alive now, you still killed her. Like, just no one else remembers it but me. Hey, it's a coffin. There's a name engraved in it. Good blip. Coffin is empty. Huh. I guess that's all that's here. Yep. Just some sick coffins. Child-sized coffins. Huh. Okay. How close are we to the end? Oh, we're, we're there, baby. Okay, good. So this is a super long finale. Oh, no, no. I'd cut it into another episode. Like, right here, this is why she doesn't call. Oh, okay.